The first thing you want to do when you're reading an EKG is to calculate rate. I like to look at ventricular rate first, and then I like to look at atrial rate. Before I start calculating, I like to make sure everything is regular. Make sure all my ventricular rates are regular, and then I like to match it up with my atrial rates. See if everything walks out. So then you just uh, make sure all the ventricular rates match up. Looks like it's walking out, walking out. Make sure the atrial rates do the same, and they all match up. So now you're ready to calculate rate. Your ventricular rate equals your atrial rate, so you only need to do it one time. So when you start looking at ventricular rate, you can memorize these numbers. 300, 150, 100, 75, 60, 50. So then you can try to find a QRS complex that's exactly on the line, so you can try to estimate your ventricular rate. Or you could get a nice pair of calipers. All right, let's read this uh, EKG. Wow, nice calipers. The good thing about EKGs is it's done on graph papers. You can get a really good estimate of rate if you know how to calculate it. So to estimate rate on graph paper, I know that 300 minus 150 is 150. I know there's five boxes in between those two numbers. So each box has a point value of 30 beats a minute. So one box left of 150 is going to be 180. Two boxes left of 150 is going to be 210. Three boxes left of 150 is going to be 240. Four boxes left of 150 is going to be 270. So you do the same thing here. 150 minus 100 is 50. 50 divided by 5 is 10. So each box has a point value of 10 beats a minute. So one box left of 100 is 110. Two boxes left of 100 is 120. Three boxes left of 100 is 130. Four boxes left of 100 is 140. Same basic math here, 100 minus 75 is 25, 25 divided by 5 is 5, so it's going to be 80, 85, 90, 95, 75 minus 60 is 15, 15 divided by 5 is 3, 63, 66, 69, 72, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58. Now getting back to our sample EKG, the heart rate is just over 75. Each box has a point value of 5 beats a minute, so it's about 80. Then I have to buy 911 Turbo. Again, when you're trying to calculate rates, make sure you try to find that Q ratio between ventricular rates and atrial rates. See if you can find a 2 to 1 or like a 4 to 1 ratio. It'll help you determine the, the rhythm of the EKG. For example, this atrial rate is marching. It looks to be close to 300. Ventricular rates are marching up, close to about 150. The ratio looks 2 to 1. Or you can just multiply the number of QRS complexes you see on the EKG, and then multiply by 6. Okay.